Well, they are the Division II ECC champions, the Wyndham Whippets. Coach, 15-1-1. Tonight makes you 16-1-1, but most importantly, a dramatic victory. Just what are your thoughts on this accomplishment in your team? Uh, it's definitely a big win for us, especially after the year we had last year. Um, it's a big response for these guys this year. Proved that last year kind of was a, a blip on the radar. It wasn't really indicative of the program we built. So um, big bounce back year for us. Um, you know, I think we, we definitely thought the game would go a little bit different. They had a great game plan for us. Um, they're very well coached. Um, we need a little bit more composure in front and goal, but uh, you know our backs are against the wall, and Abmael stepped up for us. I mean, I think everyone thought it was going to go to penalty kicks, a minute and change remaining, and you get the winning goal. You know, something that we talked about that not everyone realizes, uh, between your soccer team and the, and the football team, uh, over 20 wins to only one loss and not one home game. Talk a little bit about overcoming adversity and the idea of playing an entire season on the road. <laughs> yeah, not one home game. Uh, no locker room. We're living out of a storage container. Um, you come into school and there's a wall up and then there's a wall taken down. So um, I'm just just so impressed by all of our students, not just the football team and the soccer team, but all of our student athletes, all students in the school dealing with um, the changes that occur every single day. And you don't know what's going to happen next. And um, you know, I've always said that we're going to have obstacles that come up to, throughout the year, and we just have to make sure we can control what we can control. And that's how, our, how we play in the field, how we prepare for a game, how we train. Um, our training sessions may have to change the locations. You don't know if there's going to be a bulldozer out there tomorrow. Um, so we just have to be prepared and be adaptable. And I'm just so impressed with all of our students at Wyndham High School with how they're handling everything. And uh, I know it's definitely going to be worth it in the end with the, the first class facility we're going to end up having. So you, you get an own goal on St. Bernard's, you're up one nothing. then they turn up the intensity and they score their goal and then continue to sort of press. As you headed into overtime and into the second overtime, what message did you give your kids involving their, you know, their fatigue level their, and, and what they needed to do? Uh, yeah, I just said we're fine. Um, we're fine. Um, if we play our game, we'll be fine. The goals are going to come. We've had plenty of opportunities in, in, the reg in the regular time. We had opportunities in overtime. I knew that if we just kept playing our game, we would be fine, and the goal would end up coming. Um, kind of wish it came a little bit sooner. Um, but, yeah, you know, having Abmael step up for us was huge there. So you were fine. You were the champions. Uh, how long do you get to celebrate this one before you turn your thoughts to the next goal? Um, bus ride home, uh, yeah, bus ride home, and then we'll prepare for, uh, we still have no idea who we're going to play. Um, there's a couple games that it can change who the playing game is for us for the state tournament, and, you know, we'll start getting ready tomorrow for them. So I'm going to ask the question, uh, is this team capable of, and are you preparing them for a state championship? I told them that, um, at the beginning of the season that if our heads are screwed on right, I'll take them anywhere, play anyone. At any time, I'll play them in the parking lot at midnight with a ping pong ball. So if our heads are screwed on right, we'll be ready to go. Well, they are the Division II ECC champions, the Wyndham Whippets. Congratulations, Coach. Enjoy the bus ride home.